Hi, I'm glad you dropped in because we have a couple of cute ideas for you uh, this time. And uh, Marlene thought of one of them and I thought of the other. It was um, items that we're, we were using anyway and just thought, well, maybe not everyone has one or not everyone knows how easy they are to put together. So let's show everybody what we're talking about. The first one is a little jewelry case. I call it, you can use it for whatever. Um, it's made off a pot holder from the dollar store, just a pot holder. I was going away and I wanted something to put a few pieces of um, uh, costume jewelry in and I'm not carrying my diamonds and, and pearls in this. And uh, I wanted a few pieces, uh, or something to put my few pieces of costume jewelry in. Couldn't find anything small enough and I thought, well, this is insulated. Um, so it's going to give it protection. It doesn't look like you ha might have jewelry in it and in case it's something special to you and you don't want to lose. It's easy to find in your suitcase, especially depending on you choose a color or a design that's quite bright or, or colorful that you can pick it up easily. So um, I thought, okay, let's go with this. Now, it doesn't have to be a pot holder. I had one, so I used it because I was in a hurry. But... How about an, um, an orphan block, a block that you made for a, a quilt or just decided to try it out and it's sitting there not being used. Finish it like a quilt a block and use it. Or um, make a block, if you're thinking about making a quilt and um, before you start the entire quilt, why don't you make one block to see if you enjoy doing it? I speak from experience. Making one block and making an entire quilt of that one block are two different things. So if you want to try a block and say, okay, do I like it? Do I want to change anything? Use the block for this. You can, you can decide what you want to use. It was just the idea of it's a good size. You can pick it up in a hurry. And what, we, what I did here was, I'll put it up here. Um... I took different sizes of little plastic bags. So some are small for like a ring. You have a little wider one for bracelets or whatever. A long one for necklaces. And speaking of that, if you're bringing chains, they're gonna get all bunched up and tangled. So if you have straws, now this is a plastic straw and it's very thin. So I would not be able to get, <clears throat> excuse me, the, cla whoops, the clasp in there. So, the, some of the newer straws are a lot wider. The, um, oh, they're made out of bamboo or wood or something. They taste terrible, but they would be good cut up because they're wider and you might get your clasp in there. So put your chain in, put it in a couple of times so you're not gonna get it tangled. And you have your wider, this is a snack um, bag. And so put different sizes in. Put a few extra, they're not taking any space and you might be surprised, you might accidentally rip the top of one. I've had this so long that I have to replace this one. So if you had two in there that size, you could just cut that off along the sewing line and use your other one. So you learn by experience. Now, when you're, here, let's try it with this one. I'll, I'll, I'll show you this one, how it goes together. I got a new one because I thought this is nice and bright and I liked it. So let's go with this one. You put your pot holder down. Let's go back. You arrange your bags the way you want. It doesn't really matter if you want the same size on the same side or, or different sizes. However many that you think you would need or want to put in, you arrange them. And I just took a uh, strip of felt. I cut it out ahead of time, the exact length. And I just guessed on the size, a little more than one inch probably wide. On this one, I took a piece of fabric and just folded it in so you didn't have any raw edges. And when I sewed it down, the edges were, were um, enclosed in the seam. So fabric, felt, whatever you look, whatever you have handy, and keep your bags in place. You're not going to be tipping yours, so yours won't be flying around. Put that in the center. You're going to measure your center. Put that in the center, and I just sewed it up one side across, down the other side, fold it over, <laughs> and you have your little loop 
So put a button on the other side and away you go. Isn't that cute? It's as simple as can be. And the, uh, the, this is years old. I actually need an entire new one. But it's surprising the places it's been and how well-traveled it is and how quick it was to make. Now, as I say, it doesn't have to be jewelry. If you have um, other things that you can think of you want to carry. I was thinking of a sewing kit, but that's not really very good, a traveling sewing kit, because you have your needles and scissors, unless you have them encased in little little cases that would be fine if you're if you're carrying it that way so again it's just your block this happens to be a pot holder and put your bags i put them on either side just to give you more more area that you can use put the arrange them the way you want them put your piece of fabric or felt in the center where you have it marked and sew down one side across and up and around the other side so on your button, and away you go. I thought that was a cute one. It was quick. Um, I don't know if I saw it somewhere, or I just decide, well, that'll do. I'm not sure which, but it works. The other thing is Marlene's, and her idea was really neat. I've seen them. I just never have never made one, and that is when you put a um, drying dishcloth or a hand towel together with a block, and it's usually a pot holder sew them together to snap onto the um, handle of your stove so it's there ready to use whenever. Or I thought it would be a good idea with children or teenagers who always are dropping the towels on the floor, um, put it on a, and Marilyn did of course, put it on a hand towel and attach that to the, if you have a, um, a bar in your bathroom, uh, you can just attach that to the bar or um, put up a hook for it and then they can use it and put it if it's small children put it down where they can reach it and then it doesn't have to be removed from its place on the wall so it's exactly the same idea and it's just you can decide do you this is a regular hand towel this is a regular size um, drying dishcloth and they both fit well with these were pot holders used in each case, and I'll say the same thing. It doesn't have to be because you're not using it as a pot holder. So if you have a block and you want to use it, finish your block with the batting in because it's nice to have that little bit of sturdiness to hold it up. Um, and you don't have to bind it. Just turn it inside out and sew it and stitch on the side. And now to sew the two together, we will take our hand towel or dishcloth, whichever regular size, find the center, the very center of it, and mark the center with a marking pen or however you mark your, your uh, fabrics or materials. Do your marking. Turn your machine stitching to um, gathering stitch, a long, loose gathering stitch. You don't want this first stitching tight. You want a gathering stitch. So three rows side by side of the gathering stitch. And then slowly gather it, pull it, the threads together until you get it the size of your top, the width of the top. So when you have, let's see which, yeah, I'm doing it this way. So when you have it the same width as the top, you stop the gathering, and that's when you put the two together. You put your towel down, right side up, put your outside case down, right side down, just so you're doing two pieces of fabric, right side up and right side down, and you, where the gathering stitch was, if you're in here, you sew across, just one seam across, change your needle back to regular stitches, make them a little smaller because this might get a little bit of pulling and tugging. So make your stitches smaller than, uh, than a normal stitch, maybe almost a quilting size. And when these two are the same width, you sew one row across the middle to hold them together and you end up with this. You sew the one one row of stitching across and the two are both right side out and they're together. Aren't they cute? I think they're great for kids or or for messy mothers like I am. 
to have a couple of these and you just grab them in a hurry if your hands are wet or 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 uh, if you if you want to dry one dish in a hurry they're cute and of course if you want to match them to your kitchen that's even better so the uh, drying dishcloth made the same way as the hand towel hand drying towel now um, I'm going to make a, a dish her, she made her so cute that I have this one I'm going to make a couple and I'm going to find the center three rows of gathering stitches pull it until it's same width of, as this green lay it down with your right side up and your right side down so they're facing each other one row of stitches tight stitches and then it's ready to go I think I'll use the green side not the flower side because it's distracting so that's how this one's going to look and of course Marlene couldn't stop at one she made these you can make them to match your kitchen great little gift match different kitchens and the two pot holders come in a, in a pack um, at the dollar store but again you make the tops if you wish uh, so that the, it matches your kitchen or your decor or whoever you're giving it to but it's just so fresh and, and cute for the for your kitchen and for your bathroom she also had a brown hand towel so they take the towels um, the color that you want and away you go I thought that was pretty cute those are two quick ideas and they and they're great little gifts I want to mention the last time we did a video um, I made the little knitting bag and um, I just love making them now it's called a knitting bag but I use mine for different things that if I'm going somewhere and I just have two or three small things it's a great because you slide it on your arm and you don't have to think about holding on to anything now I want to mention it because the dr pattern uh, fabric I got was directional so with the pattern it's all one length but I wanted the directional, so I did cut it at the top so that I had two separate pieces. Now with that, you do have your little seam on the top, but who knows and who cares. The other thing is, I found it easier to do the scoop of the opening with this seam open, and then I close the seam when it was finished. So if you're using directional, remember you're gonna to have to put a seam at the top or the poor little um, panda bears will be upside down all the time. They might not mind. And this one is just plain gray on this side. So, you can put your sewing in and take it up to your sewing room or take it to your sewing class and away you go and you're going to be making your little jewelry cases or whatever you want to put in them and uh, have a good time. I just thought they were cute and quick and I wanted to share the ideas. Bye now.